Hi guys! So as many of you already know, I built these robots that I call Dr. Squiggles. And at some point, in fact, I built a whole bunch of these. And I'm going to sell one of them in order to raise funds for my microphone business. And so if you're interested in that, there will be more details at the end of this video. Any hoot? So Dr. Squiggles is a rhythmic tapping robot. So there are these solenoids all around its legs, and it basically just uses these solenoids to tap rhythms on whatever surface it happens to be sitting on. It also has a Raspberry Pi computer and some other electronics inside, which help the robot decide what rhythms it's gonna play. And here are some images showing how all of that circuitry is packed in there. And so each robot is also listening through a microphone, and I normally use contact microphones for this. And contact microphones have this special property that they really only hear sound that's traveling through solid surfaces, and they don't really hear sound that's traveling through the air. And that allows the robots to be selective about what they listen to. And so the mic is just plugged into the USB port of the Raspberry Pi computer. And so I've been showing these robots at a variety of different art science installations kind of all around the world. And so here they are at the International Sonic Design Workshop in Oslo. And the way I've set this up, I have three robots. Or I guess it's more like three robots plus an empty table where people can play rhythms. And this is what it looks like from overhead. And so how this works is that the one robot in the front projects a contact mic out to the empty table, which means that this robot only hears what's happening here on the table and nothing else. And then these other two robots in the back project contact mics out to the first robot, meaning they can only hear what the first robot is playing and they cannot hear what's happening on the table. So the robots are programmed to do beat and tempo tracking, meaning that if they hear a rhythm, they'll try to figure out what the tempo is and they'll try to find where the downbeats are and they'll try to synchronize with the beat. And I have a couple of videos on this topic already and so I'll link those down below. And then the way I have it set up here, these robots are also trying to respond to that kind of average rhythm that they hear. So what that means, if they hear a rhythm plays a stroke on the downbeat 70% of the time, then you know that robot will also play on the downbeat 70% of the time. And if a robot hears the same rhythm being repeated over and over and over again, then that robot eventually will also start repeating that same rhythm over and over and over again. And so I also wrote a paper about how all of this works. It's a little bit more technical on how it describes it, and I'll also link that down below. So I'm going to show you a demo of that, and then the demo, what you'll see first, you'll see me count in the robots, and I'll just play a steady beat, and it might take a few seconds, but eventually the robots will lock on and synchronize to that beat. And then you might hear me play a few different rhythmic patterns. And whenever I switch to a new rhythmic pattern, it might take a moment, but gradually the robots will start playing the same rhythm as me. And then at some point you'll hear me speed up. And when I speed up, the whole music will probably fall apart a little bit. And it may take, you know, a few seconds for it to recover, but eventually you'll hear the robots find the new tempo and lock into that. And then the music will all kind of come back into focus again. So yeah, enough talking. Here's the video of that.
Yeah, so this is how I typically demo the robots, kind of by default. And this definitely requires a little bit of skill to learn how to control, but once you do, it's actually quite fun. The only limitation here is that the music is very kind of four square. So the beat and tempo tracking that I talked about is perfectly happy for me to play in any meter and with any subdivision of the beat. But the way that I have the robots playing kind of the average rhythm requires some constraints and I've chosen to constrain the robots to play four beat rhythms with four subdivisions per beat. And so I wanna show you a different demo that's quite a bit less constrained. And so this demo still has the beat and tempo tracking, but rather than trying to play the average rhythm, what they do is just repeat whatever they hear two beats later. So it's like a call and response with a two beat delay. So in this video, you'll hear me play two beats of something, and then the robot in front will repeat those two beats, and then the robots that are in the rear will repeat those two beats again because they heard the first robot play it. And so you'll hear me playing a little bit in simple meter, and then you'll hear me playing a bit in compound meter. And the other thing you'll notice is that this whole system has zero mean latency, meaning even the two robots in the back play perfectly in time with me. So in other words, the system doesn't accumulate additional delay as this rhythm kind of propagates through the different layers of robots. And so as I said, the two beat delay algorithm is completely unconstrained, meaning that I can play triplets or quadruplets or quintuplets or sextuplets, and the algorithm can handle that just fine. Okay, so to change the topic a little bit, so as many of you already know, I make and sell these contact microphones on my website. And if any of you have tried to buy any of them within the past like three years, you'll notice that they're more often than not completely sold out or very limited quantities. And that's because of issues in the supply chain and the manufacture of these aluminum housings. Uh, it's actually been a complete annoyance. And so what I'd like to do is buy a CNC milling machine so that I can manufacture these housings myself, which would allow me to just, you know, stay in stock all of the time. And so for this reason, I'm selling one Dr. Squiggles robot. And the proceeds from that sale will be used to fund the purchase of a milling machine for the contact microphones. And so if you're interested in that, I've put a link down below where you can find more information or you can buy the robot. And so my email address is also on my website. And if you have any questions about that, you're more than welcome to email me. Anyway, so I guess that's all I have to say about that for now. So see you later, suckers. <laughs> Oh yeah, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. I I'm trying to get to a billion subscribers before Mr. Beast, okay? So, yeah, anyway, I guess I'll see you next time. Bye!